In this video, I'm going to introduce the Uncanny Learn Dash code plugin that's now available from Uncanny Owl. This plugin makes it really easy to add users to Learn Dash courses and Learn Dash groups by generating unique codes and then allowing learners to redeem them. So it's really all about uh, generating these codes and then letting users register with them or complete purchases with them or even redeem them once they're signed into a Learn Dash site. I'm going to quickly walk through how this is all possible and how it works in uh, the next few minutes. So right now I'm on the code generation page and from here I can choose to generate codes either for course access or group access. So you can see the selections here and when I change it, it switches to available groups or available courses. <clears throat> and what I can say here is the number of codes that I want to generate. So in this case, let's say that it's 10 and how many uses per code. So in this example, maybe I want them to be all one-time use codes. So I'll put in one here, and then we can control the pattern that's used for the code itself. So right now we can see an example of what a sample code would look like using this pattern, but I might just want it to be 12 characters, for example, and then maybe I want it to be uh, four groups of three characters. So I can change that here. And then I can define what courses I want to assign. And if I want it to be for a particular vendor, then I could use a custom prefix. So I'll use that there. And if I generate the codes, they're generated instantly. And I can now view them from this page. So the ones I just generated are right here. And you can see that it's got the prefix here. We can view the codes. So there's an audit history. We can see exactly what they're linked to. We can download the codes as a CSV file. And then we've also got history of when it was created and how many times they've been redeemed. So if I were to view, let's use an existing example. If I were to view this one, then I can see this code. It was allowed to be redeemed 10 times. And I can see the dates that it was redeemed on and which user redeemed the codes. So the complete audit history is there, and then if I want to see you know, more details about this user, then uh, all of this is linked to the user profile. And if I wanted to download the codes again, I can also do that and get a CSV file by clicking on the download button. There are a lot of settings available with the plugin. Uh, right now on the registration side, we support Gravity Forms with the user registration add-on. So both Gravity Forms itself plus the user registration add-on plugin need to be installed. We also support Theme My Login and there's also a native registration tool that's available. So in this case, you can see there are some uh, Gravity Forms registration settings. We would need to choose the form that it applies to in this case a registration form, whether or not the code is mandatory. So we can force it so that only users with a valid code are even able to register. So we use that on a couple of sites when uh, we need to restrict it to specific classes and only people um, can get onto the site when they have that unique code. So a unique code allows them access and gets them into the right group, which in turn enrolls them into the correct courses. So we can force that there, or you can just make it optional, uh, but just have the field available. You can change the, uh, the, the labels that are available, and there are a lot of settings too for the messaging around that. We can also set it so that code redemption adds the user to the group and removes them from any other groups. Or if they already belong to a certain group, we can make it so that it switches them to that or, or adds an additional group. So either it can be a new group, we remove them from the old one, or um, they can have the two group memberships or more depending on what it is. So those are some of the settings available there. And then if you're using theme my login, then what we have to do here is a slight override that just changes the, the, um, the registration page so that it includes the group. Now, further down here, there are some controls for resetting things if required, um, just to clean things up if you're doing a lot with uh, code testing initially and want to clear out some of that data very quickly. What I'm showing now on the screen are some of the, the different registration options that are available with the code. Uh, this one is a custom registration function. This is with a um, generic theme. So this is a completely um, empty test site, which is why there's not much information here and nothing styled. 
So this is uh, a generic registration form that we make available via shortcode uh, that you can use if you want users to register with a specific code and are not using Gravity Forms or Theme My Login. Here's an example here with uh, Gravity Forms. So this is using Gravity Forms. Um, it's, a, it's a basic form and then we just add this registration field to the bottom here. And if we put something in that's invalid, then of course we would see the messaging around that. There we go. And then of course we have the theme my login solution as well. And all of these things are really simple to set up. More information is in the knowledge base, but we do have the three methods of registration using the code then. And then of course, if you're using Woo WooCommerce, then here's a, a product that's been set up and we set it up so that um, we do force a code for it on checkout. So basically when users enter that code, then it would add them to the associated uh, group or course on checkout. And here you can see um, it looks n like a normal uh, WooCommerce registration page, except we have this registration code down at the bottom. So again, this is product based. The, uh, the product in WooCommerce would have to be designated as a product that requires a code. And then we can uh, collect that code and redeem it on checkout. So that is essentially how the plugin works. There is also the short code available when people are signed in. That can be added to any page, usually it's on a dashboard, where users can redeem a code at any time to add additional courses to, uh, to their enrollment or to add themselves to a new or additional Learn Dash group. So that's essentially how the plugin works and more information is on our website, including in our knowledge base. Thanks.